Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. I hope you are all doing well. I know it's Friday and this is possibly the third video that's going out, but some extra information I've dropped concerning one of the armies of uh, the Loom Curse set as uh, being on pre-order pre this week and I thought let's have a little chat about it so you know we can all get on the same page and I think I'm right as well with one of my predictions earlier in the week where I said I think this is going to be the start of a Sylvanet revamp but I'll leave that to the end as to why I think that is so before we you know uh, waffle on we're gonna get straight into the information that has been dropped right first up about the Arch Revenant uh, GW have said that this is the HQ that is there to fill a support role because it's not uh, a, a fighty champ he's not a magical support like a branch witch he he's a gap filler by the look really because he's supporting other units so what they've done they've said um because of his wings he can move 12 inches and we all know the joys of uh fly with obstacles and the fact that we don't have to worry about them but not only is he a support character because he's got um he's got you know command abilities and so uh, so on and so forth it's he's got a nice little stat for, stat for his weapon so let's have a quick look at that right first up we've got his glaive it's range two inches three attacks three plus to hit and to wound a minus two rend and a two damage that's a nice weapon especially on a hq quite happy with that but also he's got tail pincers so it's a bit shorter range, one inch, one attack, four plus three plus, so it's a little bit harder to hit. No rend, but it does D3 damage, so that kind of makes up for the lack of rend. I kind of like that, because they've said he's not he's not a fighty champ, he, he's but he can hold his own in a fight. You, you know he's not going to be on his own, he's going to have um, hunters around him, or he's going to have, you know, other units around him. But... Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. That's a nice, that's a nice little uh, start line. I wish I could see, you know, with other things like his wounds and uh, everything, the bravery. But gonna have some surprise and wait for the when it's released. So let's have a look at these command abilities. And we've got the first one up on our screen now. It's called Call to Battle. So let's have a quick read. You can use this command ability at the start of the combat phase. If you if you do so, pick one friendly Sylvaneth unit wholly within nine inches of a friendly model. Shouldn't be too bad if you can move six, uh, twelve inches. Uh, or wholly within twelve inches of a friendly model with this command ability. That is your general. So, you know, if you add him as a general, he gets a little increase in uh, range. Always good. Add one. To the attack characteristics of our unit's uh, melee weapon in our combat phase, you can pick this. You cannot pick the same unit to benefit from this command ability more than once per combat phase. So you can't have, say, two revenants and they go on the same unit. You've got to spread the love. I kind of like this command ability. If you've read, if you've got your army right and you've got, you know, you're charging in and you've got and you know you know you're gonna need a little bit of help this is that extra bit buff this is the support that this revenant is supposed to give and he is very well i could be honest he lives up to the support role i kind of like him if i had a silver earth army i'd probably field two minimum because if you could spread that across different units that's amazing but yeah i i, I seem to be fanboying out but that is not all for our boy, the Arch Revenant. He's also got the Champions of Kurnoth. 
So we got the champions of Kern off. I kind of cut myself off early on the other edit, so I'm going to just repeat it here. So we're going to have a look at it now. It gives the ability to re-roll hit rolls of one for friendly Kurnoth unit that are wholly within 12 inches in this model. So again, with him being able to fly up to 12 inches, he's covering a lot of ground and that range as well should help. Yeah, you've got to be wholly within. You know, it's not just one or two two uh, models. It's got to be holy. That's a little bit of a a sticky one sometimes. But if you've planned planned out your movement well enough and you've got the abilities covering yourself, it's fantastic. So not only are you giving them an extra woo, uh, extra attack, you're also giving them re rolls as well. So I think this is phenomenal and. Like I said, it's just, if uh, you got your artillery pieces, your bowmen, I call I call all bowmen artillery pieces because you want them to stand back. But um, you could uh, give them that re-roll and you give them the extra shots. That's fantastic. You were whittling down more of the army before it comes into it. So I think it's fantastic. What do you guys think? Am I hyping him up too much? Is he middle end of the road is, is he somebody that you don't think you're going to use a lot um let me know so you know i think he's fantastic especially if you go in like um colonel hunter heavy or if you just and you're going like very low on the tree on the um tree revenants it's yeah it's, it's a fantastic and i can't wait to see how he fits in to a all new all different sylvaneth army Speaking of which, um, as well, a little nugget of uh, a hint has been dropped, and it was dropped yesterday in one of the law pieces because it was going over what happened since uh, uh, Soul War started. So let, let me uh, go over it with you now. And while you're all checking out that gorgeous model that's on screen, I'm going to read out the snippet from the community page. It says, While the Necroquake has brought much death and misery to the mortal realms, it has also awoken ancient creatures and guardians akin to the spites to follow alongside the Silver Earth once more. They've called that uh, creature on, on the screen now a Glade Worm. Ancient protectors of the realm roots now fight alongside the Silver Earth Call to battle like endless spells by those versed in the magic of life. So, Sylvaneth are coming back. They're coming back better than they were before. And they pack in more heat with them now because they get in magical creatures that come with them. So, they said, like endless spells. So, I don't know whether it's going to go down the route of certain characters are going to be bringing them in, like wizards for end of spells but it's i don't know whether it's going to be the corn route then of you've got to follow a stipulation they've got to have a roll at the end to see if they stay on the field of battle or do they go back away but who knows but it kind of shows that they've got an idea for age of sigma since now that the soul wars have started that they want to send every army onto it so as you can see, it's going to be ma uh, life magic is going to be its own little thing. Perhaps they might redo the ideas of the of the scenery part as well when they plant in the seeds and grow in the trees. That might all be different now. They might have changed all that, th thankfully, because I've seen players uh, cut off the field of battle, which is you know. A bit unfair, but if you can do it, you can do it. So, I can't wait to see what else is coming out. I, they say it's coming out very soon. So, I'm kind of hoping in the next week or two, we might get to see more Silvernet stuff. Who knows? But, are you guys excited about Silvernet? Are you guys not bothered? Please let me know down below. And that's it, guys. The video's over. Short and sweet, like a half lean hooker. I'm off to have a cup of tea. But before I go, I just want to say thank you for checking out the video. Thank you for checking out all the previous videos. 
and thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please click click that uh, button it would mean the world to me um stay tuned then for future content because like i've said before we cover blood bowl and we cover aos and hopefully there will be more aos content rather than just articles um if you would like to leave you know ideas for future future shows um please let me know down below and i think i'll be going back to heroes in their own lunchtime as well that will be coming back soon and that's it that's a, that's the update i was going to start streaming blood bowl and chaos bane because that's coming out soon but my playstation is packed in so unfortunately that's gonna have to go on the back burner for a for a bit sadly but um also on top of that if you want to get some noob gear we have got a teesprings account go over to teesprings and type in noob with a brush same as the channel and you should get uh, your information there and like i've said before we've got rid of the patreon because um i didn't agree with the new terms of service i didn't agree with the direction they were going at so bye bye patreon and we still got a paypal account so link is down below and thank you thank you for giving up your time to listen to me waffle on about upcoming releases for the age of sigma because i hope you guys are excited as i am but until then thank you very much for listening and i shall see you in the next video